Hi guys, it's Jessica Nicole Dickerson, aka JND, and I'm coming at you with another video. Um, for today's video, um, I'm holding the tripod, so I'm sorry if it shakes a little. This video is going to be a little personal. Um, it's going to be about my type 1 diabetic diagnosis. So, what does this mean? Um, so, first off, I'll start with how this came to be. During the summer, uh, I got a job at the YMCA. Um, about eight weeks into the program, I started to feel very thirsty, like an unquenchable thirst. Like I would be drinking all the waters and <laughs> peeing all the time. And sorry if that's a little TMI, but um, but it's what happened. It's it was to a point of concern. Like I, nobody should be this thirsty and um, having to like it was just, it was a weird and i started also being very dizzy and i couldn't walk i i struggled to walk in the straight line everything kept playing kept feeling kind of hazy um so at some point my parents looked at me and went okay you're sickly um we're gonna take you to urgent care and figure out what's going on because this is not normal and they thought i had been losing weight because they like visually saw a difference in like how i appeared i didn't really believe them i felt like not the best and i knew i didn't feel good but i was like ah it's fine i'm not normally one to go to the doctor or anything like that i'll just take my ibuprofen and be good for the day <laughs> so we went to urgent care and they ran the test and she the lady or the the nurse told me that my blood sugar was over 400 and after she told me that we me and my parents went to the emergency room um where the doctor kind of sat me down and said hey your blood sugar is over 500 and this means that you're you're diabetic there's no way you'd be at this like kind of high blood sugar level without being diabetic so that i was diabetic um and of course it hit me really hard i still kind of was hoping that it wasn't true because i then had to see another doctor and then go to a um a blood doctor i forget what they're called endocrinologist uh like a specialist to kind of get the final diagnostics i was crossing my fingers hoping that it wasn't diabetes because i hate needles and after seeing the first doctor she said the same thing and then we went to the endocrinologist and he said yep uh you're type 1 diabetic and you're gonna have to be taking insulin um <laughs> like four times a day um so it's it's been a transition so type 1 diabetes is that it's it's genetic it's in your body or it was environmental it was sp like through stress or environmental stressors um it diabetes was enacted in your body basically diabetes is when your pancreas um is no longer supplying your body with insulin so how your body works is that when you eat food which is um everyone does that and it has carbs in it carbs are any form of sugar so um fruits rice bread flour um condiments um some foods like hot dogs have it um basically everything has a little bit of sugar in it there's very few things that don't have sugar like steak doesn't have any sugar um but yeah so how your body will treat like the strawberry you eat is that um it'll take the carbs and of course like use it as energy and stuff but to be able to use it you, your body naturally has insulin that takes that sugar and uses it um so my insulin wasn't working or my pancreas stopped producing insulin um or it's not the pancreas itself i think the pancreas has these little <laughs> like not germs, but they have little cells around it that um, they produce the insulin and things like that. But basically, my body has attacked those um, cells and I don't have any more, so they're not producing insulin. So for three months, my body, or more than three months, I don't know how long, but I was, I took a test and I was over, my blood sugar was over 500 for three months straight, basically. So not good. Normal people are around 80 to 100. Um, so... How do I explain? Ooh, I am sweaty. It is, it's ghastly in this room. But yeah, so now I'm taking insulin shots with every meal. 
I take a long acting shot uh, at every night. I take my blood sugar, like I have to prick my finger and draw blood and take a test um, before every meal. And since I'm new, newly di diabetic, I also take it after the meal. And it's just a balancing act because if my blood sugar is high, I don't feel good. And if my blood sugar is low, I don't feel good. So it's just been a lot of not feeling good. Um, but I still want to pursue acting and art and I don't want it to slow me down and I know like if anyone else is in this situation that it's hard and today I've been feeling very emotional just because I feel like I'm surrounded by other people who are normal now and I don't feel normal but I guess that is a transition that everyone goes through when they're diabetic. It's just it's just a lot of new things and I have to get used to it and I don't want it to stop and I don't want to be sad because it's okay I can live I, I'm not dying um, though I still don't feel well at times uh, I'm really lucky to have such a supportive family and boyfriend that supports me and that's I think the most important thing is that finding people who support you and really care about you and your health I'm not giving up so I hope if you're out there and you're struggling through something whether it's you know physical or mental or whatever is that you push yourself through it and you try to do your best because that's what life really is it's just doing your best and doing what makes you feel happy and i'm gonna do my best to continue doing that and not letting this stop me but it, I, i'm expecting to hit some bumps on the road so i'm okay with that and yeah hopefully um i don't know this helps someone um, or maybe informs you about why I've been acting so weird or not uploading as much or feeling sickly and things like that um, But yeah, I can make a longer video if you guys want About all of this and answering certain questions about certain things But I think that's all I have to say for today. Just a quick life update about what's been going on I'm still a theater major though with an art minor and still gonna do the thing <laughs> still gonna be me so I'm very excited for this year and this isn't gonna stop me after all this rambling I hope you got something out of this if not oops <laughs> but yeah thank you guys for listening it means a lot for your all your support and I hope I see you in the next video bye <laughs>